Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Happy second anniversary, guys. It's the second anniversary of this channel, Operation Safe Classical Music. So today, for this special, we are going to sight read and learn a couple of pieces. So this, this video will be pretty long. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, so just for the cele celebration of this second anniversary. So, um, yeah, but no, also note, I might have less editing in my videos nowadays because, not because I don't want to guys, I'm not, I'm not that lazy though. I, YouTube is not letting me upload that, I mean, it keeps my uploads keeps freezing up so and then it just freezes <laughs> oh sorry uh it just keeps it freezes there it doesn't move anymore so it doesn't work now so and i can't transfer my videos from the it, the only thing that works is the, on the computer and my i can't transfer my videos to the computer that's another problem so sorry guys no not much editing nowadays uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the new trailer and the uh, new introduction and also the new the new profile picture. Hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, so uh, I I got two new books by the way. So we have all thirty two Beethoven piano sonatas. You guys can see the tier list I did a couple of weeks ago. And now we have this one. This is Rachmaninoff, Piano Concertos number one to four with the Rhapsody on the theme of Frederick. Well, yeah. So, let us, which one do you want to start with? I'll just do it alphabetically. So, I'll just play it first. The speed, right? <laughs> and then R. All right. So they say the easiest one, and I agree, is the number one. Or, I mean, it's not the easiest one. You have the fourth movement, which is pretty hard. You have triplets versus eights. I mean, wait, is it triplets versus eights or triplets versus sixteen? Oh, yeah, triplets versus eights. This section. Um, I've played this actually before. This, uh, this, the fourth movement. <laughs> Let's just play a couple of pieces by Beethoven. I understand that actually. This is the first movement of the first piece. So, uh, so, uh, so I have to play this pretty fast. This G F E. So. It's a uh, three, three thirty seconds in one eight. And then you have this.
keep bringing it as a triple chord instead of doing this. But sorry. <laughs> do this tradition for this channel every anniversary of this channel we do a gigantic learning practice session and it will be pretty long but lasting about to one hour so yeah why don't we start this tradition already okay so anyways so where do we stop here Copywriting pieces that is like over 100 years old that's free from copyright. It keeps giving me a copyright claim, even I dispute it, just keeps saying it, it doesn't it doesn't release the claim. So and then that there, there was one live stream I was playing, I think with company. Uh YouTube just Took off the live stream and then the what is that word that uh re 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 wait yeah something like refrain um anyways it refrained me from live streaming and I wasn't able to live stream yet that ever since uh yeah anyways. <laughs> But we don't, we first need to get the notes right, then we get the phrasing, because you probably feel this is really glad. Thank <laughs> you. 
two years ago. Says, adult work music, play music. <laughs> yes. Says, <"Sister." laughs> Just practice with the blindfold around. Just memorize the music and practice not looking at the keyboard or the piano. Uh, just practice not looking at the piano. That would help you to not look at the notes and just look at the music. That's a trick for set reading. So uh, for violin, it's much easier because you usually can know the position. But for piano, it's much harder. <laughs> Seconds and they're not, it's not like uh, it's not like the ratio to two to one, it's like two to three. <laughs> For example, 10 16. No, not 10 16. Wait, yeah, 10 16 and 15 30 seconds. 10 16 to two to 15 30 seconds. You want to hear? <laughs> Oh, here. 
there we, we did stuff. <laughs> Oh, 
right. I think that's enough for this one. Um, later. Let us go to number two. I don't see. Um, they say. If, when I did the 32 Seattle Sonatas from Easy State and saying that bad series, uh, they say, well, this one is can be harder than not for 29. Have a clap here. I can't see why, though. It goes like. <laughs> Part is harder, but let's see here.
left, right, left, and we're not.
This is a C minor, Beethoven's favorite key. Anyways, let's do this second movement. Very beautiful. And it's in A flat major. Whoops. <laughs> no. Thank you. 
good amount of times I finished that whole thing. So. to have the timer. I don't know why I don't have it now. I think it's been one hour. All right. Let us go do one more. I think you would like me to either do the three top, the top three artists, I guess. Anyways, uh, where are you supposed to be? I think you guys want me to do 29. You guys want me to do 29 <laughs> for sure, probably. Um, well, I think it's fine because I did Scarborough, which is uh, one of the most hardest pieces in the world, and it's definitely harder than this. Um, where am I? <laughs> I don't know where I am. Um, page 532. <laughs> well, where, what is my 32? Uh, what do you what are these? Is this German? The data one was German, so probably. Oh, this is number. Wait, this is number 29. I don't know, 25. No, 25. This is 26. Oh, okay. Wait, 26. Um, where is 29? Come on. After 29, we're going to we're going to recommend it off. Um Doesn't matter for the practice. Okay, this is this very very special live stream. Since this is the second anniversary of this channel, um, uh, I think I'm at twenty something. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely at something twenty. So where, <laughs> where is it? Where's? Oh yeah, I recognize this. Yeah, this is this is this is Sam McLaren. Right? Indeed, this is one of the most difficult piano scenarios in the world. One of the most difficult. Very difficult indeed, guys. Oh, Scherzo. Scherzo. Yeah, I'm very close. So I should be there. It's no time. Um, no time. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Draw some to front does have a clavier and little bit of a bit of it. No sonata in B flat major number 29. <laughs>
I'm actually tied to both sides. That's why it's really good. It's, I'm trying to play this movement for. One reason why this is very difficult is because the length is almost 40 minutes, nearly one hour as well. near halfway so I should be I was thinking if I did the star ball I would try to do the rest of the desk for the other movie so anyways you know what let us go to wrap the matter so let's take a look at all five I guess because there, there aren't that many but it's fine because yeah fair enough right one of the one of those composers that make insane pieces of piano, just like the uh, just like Liszt and the Chopin and uh, else? um Ravel Ravel for sure Ravel makes a lot of different pieces. I say that the hardest piano concerto by Rachmaninoff is the number one. But most people say it's the hardest is number 30. I don't see why number one is the hardest. I still hold on to the, I'm a very subjective person. I don't easily listen to other people's subject, their opinions. I, I'll make my own opinions. <laughs> I didn't know that. Anyways. Um, Someone asks you to play a 12, and you're like, back I don't know. Then I cannot reach to a 12. I can only reach to a 9. Barely reach a 10, but. Say right now, piano concert number three is not the most difficult piece of piano. It's still his uh, piano sonata number two, which 
This one requires big hands. Rafael himself says this one is the hardest. So I don't know why. Okay, that's that one's yeah. This one's already just a little bit static. See if I can sing the melody while playing the thing.
Come on, dude. Actually, you know what? Before that, there's a very beautiful part. In the piano, the, in the same piano concerto, this uh, second movement. Let's check that out. <laughs> I hopefully not. I just broke it. Just I mean, uh, I mean, hopefully. I mean, it's fine if I don't break it, but <laughs> I want to go to school right now. Uh, movement two. Which, which one is this? I don't recognize it. Um, oh, here we go. The counter movement, too. Finally. <laughs> okay. To what they what they say is notorious for its difficulty. I did see some parts that were is this about the number three, but um, I can't find. It. Oh, there we go. Famous, really famous as well. Also very famous. This B minor.
Sorry if I if you are annoyed with the yawning on camera, but anyways. Oh, okay, I see what it is. I'm sorry. The next page. <laughs> Probably a simpler version. But here is the cadenza. I like that, this cadenza as well. Staggered. <laughs> that is extremely difficult. Da, 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 da. I want to see that part. Where's that? Oh, here it is. Thank you. 
Actually, I said number two was the easiest one. But let's see. Or is. Oh, yeah, I tried to play this a bit. Yeah, I did. Earlier today, this is a to felicitation. <laughs> okay, that's kind of. Why would the blank page here felicitate them? I know what felicity means, it just means make it easier. But why does that make easier page turns? I don't get it. Oh, wow. Okay. The orchestral piano part is pretty difficult. Okay. E flat. This is a B flat mic maker, I guess. I don't play flat major with G minor. So, with the relative keys. Um, so, let's see. Oh, I think it's B. Yeah, I think it's B flat major. Um, okay, let me see here. I can't remember. Um, Something's wrong. 
Okay, yeah. Actually, I think this one is actually, yeah. Um, this is not that easy to play later. 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 Oh, okay. Let us go. So now the last piece for today. Oh, I already passed it. Whoops. <laughs> Too boring, probably, and they did the. Oh, that's not Special practice session with me. Hopefully, maybe I can learn a piano concerto or want this as a, I don't know, a sub drop again, like maybe 100,000, 10,000. I don't know. But it's going to be pretty hard because I, these, these just need a lot of practice. You know what? If I can play Ravel Gaspard in the new week, the entire thing, I probably can play these concertos as well. And probably the Rhapsody and the theme of Hagrid as well. Because, of course, hard, one of the hardest pieces by in the solo the piano repertoire is Gaspard Lenoit, Scarbo. 
All right, anyways, I'll see you next time, everyone. Uh, I'll probably do a, a composing progress session later. And yeah, see you next time, everyone. Bye.